Last week, President Rodrigo Duterte challenged VP Lenny Robredo to be the drug czar for six months after she supposedly described as ineffective as drug war. Robredo's ally said six months is not enough and that she should be given three years instead. But as the saying goes, be careful what you wish for. On Tuesday afternoon, Duterte issued a memorandum designating Robredo as the co-chairperson of the Interagency Committee on Anti-Illegal Drugs or ECAD. According to the memo, Robredo will hold the position up to June 30, 2022, or until the end of her term as VP. The president also ordered all law enforcement agencies to cooperate with the vice president. O, di walang mangyayari kung hindi decline. Ibig sabihin, hindi totoo lahat ang mga criticism niya. Ang tagumpay niya, tagumpay ng taong bayan. Tagumpay nating lahat. That's why we wish her her well. Based on Executive Order No. 15, the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency, or PIDEA, is the chair of ECAD. It has 20 member agencies, including the Philippine National Police and the Dangerous Drugs Board. PIDEA chief expressed support on the appointment of the vice president as its co-chair. PIDEA chief Aaron Aquino says the vice president can focus on the rehabilitation and reintegration of drug users. Why not work together para pareho natin i-address yung problema? The PNP assured Robredo of their support, as directed by Malacanang. In a press conference, Robredo's lawyer said the vice president still doubts the president's seriousness about the whole thing and that the memo was just a continuation of last week's script. Uh, mukhang lumalabas lang ay ano lang, part lang of the ongoing drama from last week. Para maipasa lang sa kanya yung usapan ng failure nitong drug war for the last three and a half years. Gutierrez said Robredo has neither accepted nor rejected her appointment but will present her proposals to solve the drug problem on Wednesday. For News 5, Maricel Halili, we are One News. With the vice president still to decide on the offer, several lawmakers and government officials are now egging her to say yes to the appointment. Ako Bicol Congressman Alfredo Garbin welcomes Robredo's appointment, saying the vice president would be able to contribute significantly in the government's war against drugs. The party list congressman also sees this as a step towards reconciliation. Anakalusugan Congressman Mike Defensor says being the co-chairman will give Robredo the full perspective of the drug situation, allowing her to assert her position on the drug campaign and its execution. For Senator Francis Tolentino, however, the offer signifies the president's sincerity in exemplifying inclusive governance and the need for cooperation against a drug menace. For Senate President Tito Soto, the vice president must accept the job to realize how necessary the war on drugs is. Dapat tanggapin ni Vice President Lenny yan para yung mga siya at saka yung mga advices niya once they start, the, start uh, researching and studying the issue, uh, they will realize that uh, hindi pwedeng itigil ang uh, war on drugs. Senator Bongo is hopeful that Robredo will succeed should she accept the offer. But should she fail, he has a question ready for the Vice President. I challenge uh, Vice President Lenny to accept the job. Malay mo ma'am, uh, kaya mo yan. Uh, subukan mo up to the last day uh, of your term. The term rin po ni Pangulo up to June 30 of 2022. Tingnan natin kung makakatulog ka pa. Dating kang June, July 1, at hindi ka nag-succeed at hindi mo napatay yung mga drug lords, ako naman magtatanong sa'yo, ma'am, ba't hindi mo pinatay yung mga drug lords?